What's up everybody? While everyone is still excited about the spontaneous release of the 2020 Overwatch Archives event, this pleasant surprise could only end up being the first of a couple we end up seeing over the next few weeks. Specifically, I'm talking about the possible imminent reveal of Overwatch Hero 32. This is Master Ian Gamer, and let's get into it. Real quick first, I would just like to remind you that if you've subscribed to my channel in the past, make sure that you're still subscribed since recently YouTube has been randomly unsubbing people from different channels for whatever reason. So if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, then make sure you've hit the subscribe and bell icon. And if you're new to the channel, then I hope you enjoy the video enough to consider doing those for the very very first time. Anyways, let's talk about Hero 32. Now, I've talked about Hero 32 actually quite a lot over the past month or so, and one of the specific theories I'd put forth is that given that Overwatch Hero 32 didn't release in late February like we used to always see Heroes release around this time of year, instead Blizzard might be doing some sort of bundle with the 2020 Archives event in order to create a massive surge of hype by releasing both the event and the new hero in close proximity to each other. This is something we've actually seen them do before with the 2019 19 Summer Games event, which immediately preceded the release of Sigma. Now sure, we can aimlessly speculate all we want about potential heroes and when they're going to come out, but there are some interesting similarities between specifically the 2019 Summer Games event and the 2020 Archives event, which I think are worth pointing out and could potentially be alluding to a new hero on the horizon. The Summer Games event typically starts in early August, but this past year it actually started almost a month earlier than that around mid-July. On top of the event being moved up, there weren't any social media teasers whatsoever preceding the start of the event. Blizzard just surprise dropped it on live servers, and it was, well, a pleasant surprise for everyone because nobody really saw it coming. Now, if we move just four days past when the summer games started, we did start to see some social media teasers, but rather than being for an event, they were for the new hero. Disregarding the leaked image of Sigma, which showed up a few days prior to this, July 20th was when we got the first official social media teaser for Sigma, followed by a second teaser for him on July 21st, and then his proper reveal in the release of his origin story on July 22nd. He then hit the PTR the day after that, July 23rd. So fast forwarding all the way up until now, March 2020, we can see what appears to be a rather similar situation starting to play out. Unless you're a crazy speculation-obsessed optimist like myself, the release of the 2020 Archives event being in mid-March instead of early April like it usually is, came as quite a big surprise. Like Summer Games 2019, there were no social media teasers or anything whatsoever leading up to Blizzard just flat-out releasing the new event onto live servers. This was actually different from what we saw with the events preceding Archives being Lunar New Year, Winter Wonderland, and Halloween Terror, as each of those had had just a minor teaser beforehand, showing off a skin or an emote, or at least a day or two before the event started. But Archives, for whatever reason, went the way of Summer Games and decided to not tease it early at all. Now, the reason Blizzard probably didn't give teasers for either of these events was specifically because they pushed them forward and wanted to go for the Shadow Launch surprise technique, but considering that we have yet to see a new hero and Blizzard has confirmed there will still be at least one new hero released before Overwatch 2, is it fair to consider that the next new hero could be on the imminent horizon, as in literally getting teased within the next few days? Remember, Sigma started getting teased only four days after the 2019 Summer Games started, so could we see the new teaser for Echo, or whoever Hero 32 ends up being, within the next few days? Really, we're just gonna have to wait and see, unless there's another accidental leak like what happened with Sigma. But another thing to consider is the timing of all the Overwatch events and content releases overall. Previously, when Archives started in early to mid-April, that had the issue of it ending just a couple weeks before the following anniversary event, which begins in late May. My original prediction for the 2020 Archives event was that it would be starting in late March in order to more evenly space it out from anniversary as well as the Lunar New Year event. But Blizzard even surpassed my crazy predictions and made it start in mid-March, before mid-March technically. 
basically, since we're not even halfway through the month yet. Like usual, archives will be running for three weeks and end on April 2nd, but that's going to leave more than a month and a half between the end of archives and when we would normally expect the anniversary event to be starting this year. Sure, they could cram it full of a few extra hero challenges and the mini events showing off just a new skin for one hero specifically, but I think it's safe to say they got something a bit bigger planned for that window. Assuming that Hero 32 releases in a similar fashion as Sigma, they will release approximately three weeks after their first revealed and hit PTR, so if we are to assume that Hero 32 is revealed and hits PTR sometime soon, perhaps even as early as March 17th or 19th, then we could see the new hero hitting live servers as soon as the second week in April. With a new hero out, that'll definitely satisfy the player base for a fairly lengthy period of time, thus giving us something to play with for that month and a half leading up to anniversary. And I'm sure they could even cram in another hero challenge sometime during that window if they wanted to as well. So overall, I do think there's a pretty good chance that we're actually going to end up seeing the new hero pretty soon. And of course, I've already made a number of videos talking about who I expected to be, <coughs> Echo, along with what role and maybe even abilities they'll end up having in game. So check out the previous videos I've done, which I'll have linked in the description, as well as the cards on screen. Anyways, though, let me know your thoughts about Hero 32 coming in the very, very near future. Do you think they'll be coming as soon as I speculate? Or is this going to be another one of those times where I'm just flat out wrong? Either way, be sure to leave a like to let me know if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, spank that bell, and join my Discord server to keep up with all my future Overwatch content. And if you'd like to support the channel, then feel free to hit that join button down below to get some cool rewards like the people you see here on screen. Otherwise, this is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.